Hello students, we will begin with the principles of casework. Before that, before studying what is what are the principles of casework, we will study the meaning of casework. As you all know, casework is a primary method of social work. It is a one-to-one -one service concerned with adjustment and development of individuals. Um, it definitely improves the social and personal relations, helps the person to take better decision, assist him or her to grow, helps the person to lead a peaceful life. To practice casework, we all of us need to follow certain principles. So let's study what is principle in casework. Casework helps the caseworker to establish close relationship between social caseworker and client. It is a medium through which changes are brought in the behavior and personality of the client. Principles are rules of action for guiding performance. Now, one by one, we will discuss what is, uh, which are the principles of casework. Let me read out the list of the principle. Prin uh, first principle is principle of individualization. Second one, principle of acceptance. Principle of purposeful expression of feelings. Principle of controlled emotional involvement. Principle of non-judgmental attitude. Principle of client self-determination. Principle of confidentiality. So, principle of individualization, uh, students as you all know, two persons are not similar, they are unique. Their problems may be the same, but the cause of the problem, the perception towards the problem, ego strength differs in every individual. Therefore, each individual client should be treated as a separate entity and complete information is required to establish close relations in order to solve his or her problem from the root. For example, two alcoholic clients, their problems appear similar but the reasons uh, for their alcohol addiction and the consequences are entirely different. Principle of acceptance, accept the client as he is with his or her limitations such as accept the client with his appearance, background, good and bad qualities, strengths, weakness, regardless of his behavior. Acceptance is the root of all help. Accept the person and try to modify his or her behavior. We can also say like this, love the sinner and hate the sin. Recognize the client as a person even though he may have committed crime. Uh, we can continue like this, the principle of acceptance. Caseworker has to think that client is the person he or she has come for the help. Same way, client has to ac accept the caseworker. For that, social worker or caseworker need to be concerned with the, the lot of skill and competent enough. Understand the client as really is, is the core of uh, the principle of acceptance. The principle of controlled emotional involvement. The social worker tries to understand client's feelings and emotions but he or she does not involve emotionally in the client's problems. Social worker either getting too personally involved in the difficulties or uh, unpleasant situations or being too objective. Social worker should be able to capture the feelings of the client without allowing these feelings to affect adversely on his or her thinking process. See students, you can see these are the examples of facial expression like uh, how we express our face when we are speaking to the client matters a lot and also this is the example of how our, cl how our client is uh, expressing his facial expression while he is speaking to the caseworker. Next principle, principle of purposeful expression of feelings. Purposeful expression of feelings is the recognition of the client's need to express his or her feelings freely, especially his or her negative feelings. The caseworker listens purposefully, neither discouraging nor condemning the expression of those feelings. Sometimes he or she even stimulates and encourage them when the expression is on therapeutic nature. Non-judgmental attitude. 
the non judgmental attitude is the quality of case work relationship the case worker does not blame the client uh, for his or her problem or he assigns any responsibility for his or her miseries he or she only evaluates the attitudes standards or action of the clients in, in non in principle of non judgmental attitude no condemning no no arguing from the case worker side take an example of a criminal for whom punishment is an in inevitable uh, but there is no condem condemning of the criminal by the social worker when she or he become social work client society already judged him when the criminal comes to the social worker he comes with a lot of tensions the roles of the uh, case workers are considering the client that he is a person worthy for attention principle of clients self determination the clients self determination is the practical recognition of the right and need of clients of freedom in making his or her own choices and decisions but this right is limited by the clients capacity for positive and constructive decision making social worker should not make any decisions choices or plans for the client however can be guided or enabled to make his or her decisions uh, here these are the some limitations of principle of client self determination when we can uh, interfere uh, interfere during the decision making stage of client consequences of the decisions made by the client should not be determinantal to others should not be harmful to others it should be socially acceptable standards of behavior people vary in their capacity of self determination this principle has to be exercised in accordance with the client's capacity for self determination confidentiality confidentiality is the preservation of the secret information concerning the client which is disclosed in the professional relationship only clients is needed to share the information with the third persons uh, uh, like clients family members another specialist and such others information received from the client has to be treated seriously the uh, disclosure from the case worker side leads to discomfort can dam damage the client's reputation students we have done with the principle of confidentiality let's continue other principles for next class thank you so much for your patience listening